Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Comica WM100 wireless mic system. So let's take a look. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you're new to this channel, I do different types of tech, gadget, home improvement videos, and more. So if that sounds like something you're into, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. So let's unbox this Comico wireless mic system and let's see what you get. So the mic system comes in this cloth bag. It says Comico right on the front and it's got two zipper pouches. It's got the front one which is smaller and then it's got the back pouch which is a little bit larger. It's got the handy carrying handles here that velcro together. Let's explore what's inside. And inside here we have all sorts of different uh, accessories. I have everything that was included in that front pouch unwrapped and we're going to just run through them real quick. So starting off you get two of these lapel mics. These lapel microphones uh, have the mic on one end and then they have the quarter inch jack on the other. We also have the clip attached to each one of them so you can clip it to your shirt, tie, wherever you're going to be clipping the lapel mics. On top of that you have a quarter inch to quarter inch cable which I would imagine you could use for outputting. We have a USB cable here probably about two feet long. We have some of these clips or belt clips which are going to attach to the receivers transmitters. We have a quarter inch to XLR cable and we have two wind muffs that are over here on the side. So inside we've got our user manual, advertising as well as looks like warranty information. And then it looks like we have our different packs here. We can pull one of these guys out. It's got this foam fitted interior here so that you can store each one of the packs very easily and it'll keep it from getting bounced around. Uh, also in here is this piece and that is going to be our camera mount. Let's pop these guys out, take a closer look. So we have our two transmitters and we have our receiver here. The receiver's got the two antennas and each transmitter just has one antenna. You have the uh, ability here to power them. The back door opens up and you can insert two AA batteries. This is the same for all three of these different units. You also have the option here on this side to power it by using external power. So by plugging it into a wall, uh, I have the USB cable that came with the, uh, with the package here, but you only get one of these. On the back of any one of these units, you also have the option here, so I've attached the belt clips. And then there's also the mount here for the camera, the screw for the camera mount. So I just quickly popped off the belt clip on this, and then I've got the camera mount now screwed into the back. So if you were going to mount this on top of a camera while you're doing a video shoot, uh, you have that option as well. So looking at some of the different uh, features here on the top of the transmitter, we've got a mic input and a line in. And right now I've got one of the lapel mics plugged into it. Something to note that's kind of nice is it's got a screw down lock for the mic input as well as there was a screw down lock on that quarter inch to quarter inch. So you reduce the chances of this popping out on its own because it's going to be screwed down and locked in. So taking a look at our receiver, our receiver here has on the top a output as well as a headphone jack so that you can listen in uh, to what you're recording. On our receiver we've got our power as well as our plus, set, and minus buttons. They're not very heavy, they're pretty lightweight, even with the batteries installed. The casing is not metal, it is plastic. And uh, so I don't know, you know, having the plastic casing, it's probably not as durable as something with like metal casing. So you hold the power button down for two to three seconds on each unit to go ahead and get it to power up. Uh, I have the lapel mic plugged into this unit right now and you can see the input level kind of on the bottom there that's adjusting as I'm talking showing that the mic is working. 
what we're going to run through here is what's on the screen. So the little satellite dish there, that is the uh, signal strength. And right now it's set to high. You can actually go in and set it to low. High is going to use more battery, but you're going to get a longer range. So depending on if you're doing studio recording, if you're probably within 10 to 15 feet of recording, you can actually go on the lower signal strength. Uh, right now it's set to high. Uh, if you're going to be outside and broadcasting further away, probably want to use the high signal strength, but just know that your battery is going to wear down faster. You have different groups, so this would be group A. The other transmitter is actually set to group B. It has the option here where it's showing the microphone, and you have a mute option. By just tapping this top button here, you'll notice it goes red, and we've muted the mic. We have no more audio bars on the bottom. I can just simply tap to unmute it. We're currently broadcasting on channel one. We're gonna wanna match that up with what's on the receiver. We can also see our battery indicator here of how much power is left. If we go over to the receiver, on the receiver right now, I have the other transmitter turned off and because of that, it is flashing because it is not receiving a signal. The signal that's coming from this one, it is receiving, so it's going to be solid, showing its normal recording status. And down here, we can see all the information. So on transmitter A here, we have very high signal strength. It is broadcasting on channel 1. Um, the other one is not currently powered up, so we're not going to see any battery indicator light. We're not seeing any audio bars. I do have that other transmitter here, and what I can show you real quick here is if we go ahead and power this one up. As that one is powered up, we're broadcasting on channel 2, and I have the transmitter and receiver matched up. And as soon as I powered that on, you'll see the battery status and the audio bars from mic number two. In addition to that, you can go in by just long pressing on the set button here, and we'll go ahead and do that, and that will give you the options here to change the status of what channel you want each one of these uh, transmitters to match up with. We're gonna match it up over here. I'm gonna long press the set button. Right now we're on channel one, moving over to channel five, going to set it, and once I have this one and that one set to channel 5, you'll notice here that both are giving me status bars here indicating that we're transmitting the signal and it's being received by the receiver. On the transmitter here, by going left or right, you can go into the different settings. You have group settings, the low cut filter, RF power. Remember I said you could go on either high power or low. High is going to use your battery power more. You can completely turn off the muting ability. Uh, the low cut filter, you're probably like, what is that? Well, when you hold down the set button for long here, it gives you the options of low or high. Let's say we set it to high. What that setting is going to do is concentrate more on the speaker that is talking out of the microphone and eliminate more of the background noise. So I want to give you a sample of what some of the audio sounds like coming out of this mic system. I have one of the lapel mics on. It's hooked up to one of the transmitters. It's wirelessly sending its signal over to the receiver. The receiver is hooked into my Pixel 2 phone camera and you are getting a sample right now of what some of the mic uh, quality sounds like uh, coming out of the lapel microphone on one of the two transmitters. Next, we're gonna take things outside and we're gonna test the range and see how far of a distance we can get using the wireless system. So I'm outside on the side of my house and I am gonna trek through my backyard here. We're gonna test the range on this microphone system, see how far back we can get and see how the uh, signal holds up. Right now I'm starting at about six feet away, 28. 29, 30. So this is from 30 feet away right here, 30 feet away. So I am now broadcasting from 50 feet away. We are at 80 feet, 98, 99, 100. So we are at 100 feet. We're gonna try the same test that we just did from channel five before, now using channel 10. I'm gonna do the walking test. Let's see how the signal holds up. So I am at 50 feet. So I am at 75 feet now and 100. So I am now at 100 feet, 23, 24, 25. 
I'm at 125 feet, 125 feet giving you an audio sample here. So we've had a chance to look at all the different features of the mic system. We took a look at what was included as well as we did an audio test inside and outside to check the range. Overall, I can say that I think this is a great mic system. Some of my favorite highlights of it, the fact that you get two transmitters with the one receiver makes this an excellent microphone system. If you're doing interviews, if you're interviewing another person, you can wear one transmitter, the other person can wear the other one, and you're getting two microphones essentially, you know, for the price of one with this mic system. I think that is great. I also think that getting all the different options with the, uh, the lapel mics, uh, the fact that they lock into place, everything fits into that nice carrying case. It's very compact, it's very lightweight, so it's you know quick and easy to set up, quick and easy to take down. That makes this, in my opinion, a great mic system. If you found this microphone review helpful, please be sure to smash that like button. I've also done another Comica mic system review with a fellow YouTuber friend of mine, Tyler Skibbs. I'll put a link to that mic review down in the description below, and it will also be one of the videos in the DJ Equipment playlist that I'm going to be linking to at the end of this video. Be sure to check that out for other speaker light reviews as well as that other microphone review as well. So my name is Jeff here at Tinker Forward. I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.